Hey, welcome to Geeky Faucets. Today we're going to talk about upcoming movies. We hope you had a great Halloween, or as we like to call it, National Cosplay Day. I call it Candy Day. <laughs> <laughs> National Steal Candy from Your Kids Day. Seriously, though. That's the benefits of being a parent. I'm just saying. It is. Have children to eat we their candy, candy on tax. Halloween. Yeah, candy they can't tax. give me the crap either. No. So Try to Reese's, give me Smarties. Reese's Snickers. Mm -hmm. Yes, Reese's for sure. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. We gotta get going. We have a big list of movies. And a lot of movies are coming out November 7th, which is this Friday. So, um, yeah. Get excited about that. If you are wanting to go for... The movies this weekend this is a good weekend to do it big hero 6 is coming out it's um an old marvel property and disney now owns marvel so they decided to make this cartoon it looks really cute it looks amazing my daughter's a huge fan and um it looks really cool they've made a town called san francisco which is like you know obviously a combination of san francisco and tokyo and it's just really cool the world they've created they have baymax this really huggable robot guy mm -hmm. and the whole thing. I'm gonna admit the um, villain looks a little creepy. I know he does. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, oh, oh, you are a little. Yeah, he wears scary. like a kabuki oh, mask. and get this. So one of my favorite Korean drama actors, Daniel Tenney, he plays Big Hero. What? What's his name? Hero? No, Tadashi, his big brother. Yeah, he plays the big brother of Tadashi. the of the main dude. Yeah, what's the main, main dude's name is Hero. He, yeah, so he plays the big brother of Hero. So anyway. Kind of yeah, excited about it looks that one because I like him. Fantastic. I think it's probably, defi probably definitely, probably definitely <laughs> going to be worth checking out. <laughs> probably definitely. So, yeah. And then also, uh, I believe this Interstellar is coming out this weekend. Mm -hmm. And, ugh, I don't know. What do you think? Well, I like the cast. I Matthew love the cast. Anne Hathaway, Michael Caine. I like those three, but, Jessica but here's, the, here's the thing. So, we were, as we were watching the trailer... They're like, oh, it looks like a mountain. And then they panned up and they realized it's a giant wave. Okay, I've had nightmares about big waves. I've read books about big waves, which probably led to the nightmares about big waves. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I can handle that. I love a good sci-fi, and it looks really, really well done. It's Christopher Nolan, who I've been a fan of since Memento, which was a million years ago, it feels like, and it was a really good film. If you haven't seen that and you're a Christopher Nolan fan, you should go see it. Um, well, you can't go see it, but rent it or get it on DVD. Um, anyway, but it is really um, intense looking. I think it does look It looks very intense, intense yes. and like, yeah. And so I, I'm not sure that I could say I'm excited about it. I'm interested to see it, but it looks a little I kind of am curious about the planet intense. that they find and what they find there besides the big, huge waves, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, me too. But I want to watch it and on the big screen. But I just think I might need to take the big my waves. Going to be even more calming like, medication before I But the I big waves even going to be even bigger. more big. I know, even more. I'm big. gonna watch it on a mini TV screen. It's definitely probably so the big gonna wave be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> the theory of everything. Also, nope. comes that out. was a big fat nope for we the both, both of us. We both just sat there and watched the preview, and I was nearly in tears on the floor in a it puddle was after watching the preview. Oh, it's, it's the story of Stephen Hawking, which is going to be amazing. And if you can handle really, really, really sad true stories, then you should watch it. Mm. But I'm not that person. I, I can't think. handle it either. Ooh, it looks a little too sad. The one me. that I'll it looks watch. Amazing, though. The one that I'll watch instead of this one is Dumb and Dumber Two. <laughs> That's kind of more up my alley. Like, I was cracking up watching the trailer. Yeah, it looks pretty funny. There are some I love. parts I'm not so sure about, and I hope it doesn't go the massively crass route. I really hope really that, that was like a, I hope that on the trailer that was like an isolated incident and it doesn't actually make it into the movie. I know. Because, you know, that way, but... they're all about, like, I am all about a gratuitous fart scene. Mm -hmm. All about it. You know, but like, when you add the raunch into it, I'm just not. I, know. I agree. I just hope they keep it funny because they're just dorky. I know. And that's what makes them funny. I like, know. you don't need to be gross. It's really, like, yeah. yeah. It looks good, though. Um, mm -hmm. November 14th, it's coming out, so. And then um, Horns is already out with Daniel Radcliffe, which you may know from Harry Potter. Really? And, <laughs> really. <laughs> and it's written by Joe Hill, who is the son of Stephen King. Um, I have not read the book, but... The movie looks intense, to say the least, and I have a friend who keeps telling me that I need to read the book, so I'll be reading it at some point. Have you guys read um, it? I'm curious. I've yeah, never even heard of it before today, read it, so. or if you've seen yeah. the movie, or any of those things, and what you think about it. It looks pretty scary, I'll be honest. 
a little bit scary. Uh, Mockingjay, part one. Why do they always do the finales November in two 21st. parts? Can you just put us out of our misery and do it in one movie, make it like a half hour longer and be done with it? No, they can't. I wish they would. Because they did it with Twilight too, and I'm like, you're killing me. Well, here's the thing about Mockingjay. I, I didn't like the book. I'm with you. No, I'm okay. totally I with you. I loved the first two books. I really did. I was full in. I was like, yes, this well, is awesome. I got to the third one and I was like, ugh. They have to kill people. Like, why do you have to kill people? Yeah, and also like, it's just it's just grim and depressing. I mean, the other two had that element too, but it's different. It's, I don't know, and it's more like revolutionary. I don't know. I don't recall so, when I read the book that it ended well. Like, I wasn't excited about the ending, but that, you know, it's post-apocalyptic yeah. kind of a deal, and I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Is it supposed to be grim and dark, and so apocalypse, please never come in any form. <laughs> Zombie, <laughs> whatever, doesn't matter. No. no yeah. yeah. Um, and then also, okay, so that one I'm kind of like, eh. I hope, I'm sure in the movie they'll do a good job, but I, you know. Then The Hobbit, December 17th, <laughs> which we just read something about this today, Christine and I did. I texted her a bit, and I was like, it says that in the, this is the Battle of the Five Armies, and it's coming out December 17th, and it says that it will end with a, how long? 45 minutes? 45 minutes! 45 minute Epic. battle scene. Epic! 45 minute battle scene. That's long for, that's long that's for anybody. That's the worst. But I it mean, makes sense. Battle of five armies. They gotta get five, or, was that what it is? Yeah, five, five armies. Yeah. So they've gotta get five armies in there, I suppose. But for 45 minutes, that's pretty long. That's I mean, I don't know awful. if that's really what's gonna happen, or if that's just rumor, or what's going on, but if that's really what happens, that'll be... The worst? Interesting to see how people tolerate that because I actually like his battle scenes and I'm still like, wow, 45 minutes is a long one. And Christine, of course, doesn't enjoy battle I'm scenes I'm really excited all. about it. 45 <laughs> minutes, yes. And then he poked him with his sword and then he brought in the so, axe. Are the orcs, the bad, I mean, are the orcs and, you know, are they gonna fight? And is that like, do they, do they fight the whole time? Like, do they get along? Because 45 minutes, I'm not sure that's gonna tell me. Will, 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 do they get along? Like, do they hate each other? I think I need like an hour I to need, really I tell to me. To really interpret this, we need a little. I longer. just don't even understand. We'll see what happens. So let us know if there's any movies we skip that you're really excited about, <laughs> and yeah, let us know which of these you've seen, you're gonna see, or any of that. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.